Our new friend's build is perfect as is. Wouldn't you agree, Marianne? Oh, well, I don't... Uh... <laughs> okay, okay, everyone just loosen up. And hey, it's not like we haven't met already, so just sit back and make yourself at home. I would not take after Claude if I were you, new blood. Honestly, if you wish your time here to be fruitful, you would do well to follow my lead. Um, I think Professor Yuritsa wants to say something. Remember your mission? Every word, Professor. We are to crush what remains of the Iron King's thieves who attacked our camp. And with their boss Costas out of the picture, the runts that are left should be easy pickings. They can't be anything too special if we're getting them as homework. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Professor. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, so that whole Yuritsa up and vanishing thing? Best to just get used to it. Well, I for one am excited to show off my skills by beating up on some bandits. I don't suppose I could be excused, or... Um... We're all in this together, Marianne. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Besides, the newbie here already sent them packing once, so this should be easy-peasy. We should proceed with caution. So if we keep our heads on straight, there's nothing to be afraid of. Now that's what a battle-hardened mercenary should sound like. Maybe I'll just hang out in the back and let you handle all the hacky-slashy stuff. But you're a melee... You know what? Never mind. Anyway, we're all participating in this mission. Church's rules. I didn't make them, so the only thing we can do is work together. And we're gonna lean pretty heavy on our mercenary buddy here. Hope that's okay. I won't let you down. There you are, Yuritsa. I have word from the knights. It is time. Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose land in the kingdom. But the knights have cut off their escape, and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe, though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No, you don't. You there, it's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. Lost sight of them? Ashamed to admit it, but yes. It's possible someone magicked the bandits away. But why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. Right, of course. We'll follow... Wait, what? We're leaving. Everyone, follow me! Hey, uh, Professor Yuritsa, are you... And away he goes. Guess we better get after him. We're still on a mission, after all. Pathetic. Slow down, Professor. You're making it hard for us to... Oh. Well, this is something. What happened to all these people? Dead by my hand. Are these the bandits we have been chasing? Who knows? It's not like you can tell they're bandits just from looking at them. 
Well, Professor, are they the villains we're searching for? Most likely. I caught them trying to escape to that fortress. Okay, does it have to be so dark and spooky? It must be their hideout if they were trying to shelter there. Then let's quit standing around and seize the place. Might even find some nice gear in the process. I concur. As nobles, we would be remiss to let the people suffer at the hands of these rapscallions one minute longer. So you want to go in there? Yeah, you know what? I think I'll stay here and make sure the outside is safe. Right, Marianne? You with me? Of course. We don't belong in a dangerous place like that. We'll be heroes if we manage to take out an entire bandit outpost. This is the kind of stuff I live for. Yeah! Let me at him! I'll crack those guys like walnuts! It seems like opinions are split. But the thing is, we're still on a mission. And that means we leave the decision-making to Professor Yuritsa. And I say, enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. But... There's no cause for concern. I see no signs of life. There can't be more than a handful, or none at all. I'd be happy with the none option. My grandpa told me empty forts have ghosts in them. Ghosts? I mean, uh, how childish. Everyone knows there's no such thing. We're hunting bandits, not banshees. So can we please just get this over with? My Scythia, don't tell me that you're... You know what? Probably better not to ask. You folks must be pretty confident considering how much you're horsing around. Just be careful some brute doesn't take you by surprise. Yeah, we'll just need to watch each other's backs. Eyes peeled, everyone. with the bandits. Now it is my turn. Try this. All right, time to get moving. <laughs> <laughs> 
to rout. Follow me. my noble duty. Ah, uh, these folks aren't so tough. No problem, I got it. None shall surpass me! Try this. Let's see how this goes. Not a problem. I've got this. Yeah, let's do this. Don't worry, I won't slack off. I'm not letting you past here. My life depends on it. Now we know who to kill to open the gate. This is bigger than I thought. Split up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, this place is crawling with bandits. Hey, look! A treasure chest! We can get it open if we have a key. I was all ready to grab a nice haul from that chest. Now those intruders are all over the thing. Ooh, did I hear the faint jingle of a key?
Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Yeah, let's do this. Don't worry, I won't slack off. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Gotta keep aiming higher. Goddess, watch over their poor souls. Take them by storm. This is a rather impressive setup for a den of thieves. No, not yet! That takes care of seizing the hideout. So what's next? Search the basement. Something is amiss. Here. And she looks like an academy student? Never mind. Let's get you out of here before any of that. Thank you for saving me. Don't let the girl escape, or Kranya will make us wish we were dead. It's not safe here. We must take the girl and run. Hey, 
Could you go as... They're targeting that academy student. We have to protect her. But they sure aren't some run-of-the-mill bandits. We must dispatch these villains post haste and save that student. Now's our chance to give him a slip. More bandits that eluded us. Leave none alive. slowing you down. The world is still a little wobbly at the moment. She's not sticking around. I'm all right. Gotcha. I'm all right. Good. That's the last of them. Looks like the coast is clear. All right, folks, let's get a move on. Beautiful stronghold. Hi there, I'm Kranya. But you can just call me the lady that's about to murder you. Or, you know, don't. It's her. So be it. Kill her. See how this goes. plan for you.
asked for it. Release the creature we captured. What is that? Looks like some sort of giant beast. Defeated alone. All the numbers in the world want to save you. I am here to aid you. What an offensive sight! Be gone! Are we even hurting this thing? I sense fear in this beast. Keep attacking! There is nothing up. You shall not get in my way. Well, we can skip my turn, you know. They defeated a demonic beast? Impossible! Alice isn't going to like this at all. You'll pay for this. You'll all pay. Talk about strange customers. Well, at least we beat her. That's what counts. Progress looks good on me. Nobles must be strong. I'm still just a delicate flower, you know. I won't let myself stop here. Gotta keep aiming higher. Not gonna forget this. I am capable of so much more. How is this gonna help? safe here for the time being. I'm well acquainted with Professor Yuritsa, but the rest of you are this year's fresh-faced golden deer, I presume? Nothing but the freshest. Also, is it just me, or are you wearing our uniform? And how do you know Professor Yuritsa? Do you go to the Officers Academy? She's one of last year's students, a Black Eagle. Which would make you our senior, but what were you doing here in a bandit fortress? Well, I was just on the verge of graduation last year when I was kidnapped by the strangest people. In truth, I thought I'd never breathe fresh air again. Thank you for coming when you did. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Monica Von Ox, eldest daughter of the Empire's Baron Ox. I think I understand. 
This all began when the knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing student. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? Because the knights sent for help after you left them behind. Did you expect anything different? Not that I'm trying to lay blame at your feet. I know you were following Professor Yuritsa's lead, so I think everyone involved can head home knowing they did just swell. For as you know, all swell that ends swell. <sighs> Still, I find this a rather grave turn of events. To think the same bandits who attacked our charges were behind another student's abduction. Hmm? I never said I was kidnapped by bandits. You... you didn't? Now that you mention it, some of the folks in that fortress weren't exactly dressed in the typical bandit fineries. What if we're dealing with a way savvier organization than we think, and the bandits just answer to them? I can't say for sure, but they didn't really strike me as your run-of-the-mill bandits. I mean, that Kranya woman who slipped away seemed far stronger than you'd expect from common cutthroats. You're on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me, seeing as I already know. What? Why didn't you mention this earlier? Everyone was busy speculating, so it was difficult to cut in. What do you know, child? Out with it. Well, the one who kidnapped me was Tomas the Librarian. I'm certain of it. I could tell from his gait, and how he held his staff. I suppose he isn't the simple scholar you think he is. Tomas? Impossible! But Tomas has been at Garrick Mach even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but... Based on what you say, we've no choice but to investigate. But, Sir Alois... Be on guard. If Tomas is in league with Kranya, he is dangerous. Very well. I will quietly report the matter to Lady Rhea and leave the decision in her hands. Not a word of this to anyone. Is that clear? Well, now things are getting interesting. Honestly, did not see this coming. So what do you make of this Kranya? Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seem preoccupied with her during the battle. Is she a friend of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't know. My memory is but a shadow at this point. Gone! Vanished! Lost! I remember meeting you, but before that, nothing at all. And yet, the moment I saw her, I was struck with the most inexplicable feeling. I couldn't tell you if it was revulsion or affection. It was simply pure emotion. And here I thought I had it tough. Are you worried about me? How adorable! Oh, but I do love that about you. And that's why Rhea has decided to take Tomas into custody. When he gets back, that is. Seems he's been away from the monastery for a bit. Custody? They ought to end his life on the spot. The Churl's enmity towards the church is plain for all to see. All the more reason to keep him alive and question him. You really think he's working alone? This all comes from that Monica girl we rescued, right? Still, I guess if Lady Rhea believes her. So who is this Tomas guy anyway? You say he works in the library? Yes, and he's always bent over backward to help me find whatever book I'm searching for. He's a kind man. 
and the last person you'd ever expect to stab you in the back. Well, you won't make it too far as an evildoer if you can't pull the wool over people's eyes. I can't believe someone that nasty was working right here under our noses. But wait, what if the dining hall lady is a traitor too? I'll never be able to ask for seconds again! As if anything would stop you from asking for seconds. Besides, what kind of villain sets their sights on someone's lunch? I think we can give the poor dining hall lady the benefit of the doubt, right? If we can't trust the hand that feeds us, we can trust nothing. Exactly. If we start looking at everyone with suspicion, we may as well pack up and go our separate ways now. I'd really like to stop talking about the dining hall lady now, please. So, is it safe to assume Tomas hired the bandits that tried to kill us? No one has proven he was the mastermind behind it all, but there is no doubt he was involved. You're awfully quiet, Marianne. Is everything okay? Oh, it's just... I suppose I'm worried about what this all means. Hey, I understand. These walls were supposed to keep trouble out, but now everything feels very different. Wait... Do you hear that outside? Are they ready at the gates? Yes, sir. Every exit is covered. Well, well. It sounds like Tomas has returned. I don't know why I know this, but you need to get out there, and quickly. I think he's here. I'll be back. But let's do it together! Wait, what are we doing? There he is! Hmm? <laughs> that man down there. Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. Hmm. <laughs> This doddering persona of mine will benefit me no further. What is this? Prologue, the battle for the locket. Upon his return to Garrig Mach, the humble Tomas shapeshifts and flees, and not even the knights of Ceres's most concerted efforts can track down the erstwhile librarian. Though Claude is quite intrigued by the dark developments at his school, an urgent message soon arrives from House Goneril at the eastern edge of the Leicester Alliance. Well, that was certainly an unexpected conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. Thanks to his shape-shifting ability, he slipped free of the knights and escaped. Shape-shifting. Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Don't feel like sharing, hmm? 
All the same, I saw what you saw. Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shapeshifting. And now that everyone knows about Tomas, some of them must have connected the dots back to me. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. It's because they trust you. Hold on, someone's coming. Hey there. Got a second? Something wrong? There's no nice way to dance around this. Are you sure you don't know, Tomas? I already told you I don't. Okay, okay. It's not like I suspect you or anything. But it does make me wonder where you're from originally. Who knows? Maybe there's some mysterious clan out there with shape-shifting powers. And maybe they banished you when you were little and you don't remember it. It's possible, right? Well, my early years are pretty hazy. But while it's not completely impossible... Hey, I'm sorry. You know what? Don't worry about it. I only ask because people here also see me as something of an outsider. Guess I got a little ahead of myself. Maybe I was just excited to meet a kindred spirit. You're an outsider? There you are, Claude. You must come quickly. We have an urgent message from House Goneril. Sure thing. Why don't you tag along? I'm not sure what House Goneril wants, but it can't be good. I can't believe the Almiran army is invading! And with the biggest army since Fodlin's locket was completed? My brother's preparing to intercept them, but he's outnumbered big time and needs all the help he can get. House Regan stands ready. But we can't expect my grandfather to lead an army, so I guess it falls to me. I wish I knew what the other Alliance Lords will do, but there's no time to call a round table. I have no doubt my father has already leapt into action. Though I will likely be the one who ends up on the front lines. House Ordelia is close, so I like to think we've already sent reinforcements. Sadly, I expect little help to come from my adoptive father. I'm sorry. That's fine. I actually have a different favor to ask Margrave Edmund, but we can chat about it later. I don't understand the reason for this sudden act of aggression. If this really is the biggest army since Fodlin's locket was completed, that's a century's worth of battles. Maybe the Almirans figured it's now or never, since the Empire and Kingdom are wrapped up in their own problems. I mean, we're pretty much the only students left around here now. Yeah, I heard something about a coup in Enbar and a revolt in Ferdiad. Both serious problems that don't directly affect the Alliance. And even if word of Fodlin's troubles has reached the Almirans, it doesn't follow that they'd start a war. Well, that's assuming they have all the information, which seems unlikely. If all they heard was something vague, like war in the capitals, it might make them more likely to invade. Do you truly think so? go with you. Maybe I can help. Hey, we need every sword hand we can get. Welcome aboard. And you'll have me. The name's Shamir. I'm a Knight of Saros. The bulk of the knights were dispatched earlier to track down Tomas. And the rest of us fanned out to the kingdom and imperial capitals. Yeah, I was worried they might have been deployed already. How did we end up with you? The church may not be able to lend you an army, but they won't turn a blind eye. I'm here because I'm the best woman for the job. My arrows will make short work of Almiran wyvern riders. 
So we get to see what the knight's best archer can do with the bow? I won't say no to that. I'll be counting on you as well. It certainly sounds more interesting than staying here and twiddling our thumbs. And besides, who knows what will become of the Academy in the meantime. Sure thing. I'm in. In short, thinking. your thoughts. I'm counting on you. Got a minute? Hold on. Hmm. Hmm. May I have a word? A moment, please. Do my gears 
In actuality. Speaking of... Right on. Fascinating. How's that? I gave you an order, Nadir. Yes, sir. You sure did. Then explain why we remain on this side of the mountain staring at that wretched fortress! Did I not command you to gather enough soldiers to push through? Yes, and I did all that. We actually have the numbers advantage by some margin. But the enemy commander Holst is a born leader, and his men are bound to fight like demons. I'm sorry. Are you suggesting some cowardly savage is a superior commander to me? The next king of Almyra? Not at all, not at all. Merely pointing out that storming a fortress tends to be one of those time-consuming sort of things. In which case, the current state of affairs proves to be exceedingly fortunate for you. As we speak, the Imperial household fights to hold power against the Empire's nobility, while the whole kingdom bickers over who should wear the crown. There will be no reinforcements here. Take whatever time you need. I admire that optimism. Uh, but, as I recall, the king instructed us not to attack yet. That was before the situation changed. Father will hold me in great esteem for this. Mark my words. Also, Khalid has been absent for a good while now. And I wager he's plotting some mischief. But once I've conquered Fodlin, it won't matter what folly he attempts. The throne will be mine! Prince Shahid! Enemy reinforcements have been spotted! What? 
<laughs> no matter. There can't be more than a scattering of them. Send in what's left of our troops and crush them all! Thank you for traveling all the way to Fodland's Locket. I'm Holst Sigisvald Goneril, in command of defense here. Claude Von Regan. I've heard a lot about you over the years. We're here to help you hold the locket in whatever small way we can. Ah, House Regan's new scion. I've heard a fair bit about you as well. I'm impressed you were able to scrape together this many troops in so short a time. Duke Oswald has clearly chosen his heir wisely. Also, I can't express my gratitude enough at seeing so many young people offering to serve. Whoa! Look at the muscles on you! Your regiment must be epic! Oh, I'm Raphael Kirsten, by the way. Nice to meet you, Holst! Do not address him so casually, you oaf. This is General Holst, one of the Alliance's finest and bravest warriors. Well met, General. My father sends his warmest regards. So we're gonna fight alongside a famous general? <laughs> no pressure there. Yes, I, I know when I'm out of my league, and I am clearly way out on this one. Maybe I should go back to the monastery. And I as well. Enough, both of you. This is no time to be cowards. Our enemy's just over there. Are you gonna hide like field mice, or will you find some courage and fight? My weapon stands ready. I want to see what Holst here is truly capable of. <laughs> Your classmates are a real colorful bunch, Hilda. I like them. Thanks, Holst. But if we're all done catching up, we might want to focus on the enemy army that's headed right for us. Oh, so they are. The sign of your forces clearly lit a fire beneath them. Fortunately, the locket is impregnable, which they'll soon discover the hard way. Good luck, all. I'm counting on you. To battle! There's no time to waste. I'll do my best. My time to shine. 